morning, guys. Woke up just a little bit ago, fixing to get ready. It's a little after nine o'clock, so I'm gonna go get ready. It is another booty workout today. I'm tired. Oh my goodness, I'm tired. But it is gonna be a good day. Hanging out with my best friend today. Oh my goodness, I'm tired, guys. So let's go get ready and head to the gym to get some booty workout done. Let's see you guys. That they have them, but <sighs> my legs are destroyed. And I love how you can see my definition in my legs, my quads. Goodness, I've never seen them that defined. I must be doing something good because, I, like I said, I've never seen them that defined before. So I'm a very happy camper. And also, I hate how this Smith machine's here. They don't, the little thing doesn't go down as far as the one that um, LA Fitness does. So it's harder for me to do the kick, like do the full extension for the kickbacks. So that's why it looks a little bit odd, but they still, they still focus on my booty. And that was the main purpose, but yeah, let's go get some gas. So I'll see you guys at home. Walmart finally had what I was looking for. It's the veggie spinach lentil pasta with a Fredo sauce in it. Which is, I've heard, tastes really good. And also, this is the actual one that I was looking for. And it's the veggie, veggie made spinach, uh, zucchini lentil pasta. I'm excited about that. And then, of course, I saw some shorts at Walmart. And it has a pocket on the side. So, I'm going to try these on when I get home. But that is the plan, and I'll see you guys back at home. Probably lay out today, because it's beautiful outside still. So that's the plan for today, so I'll see you guys back at the house. Guys, guys, just had a bite of this, and it is freaking amazing. I put some chicken in it, because it is chicken off later. Look at my dog. Really? So I'm probably going to eat on my chair. But it is so freaking delicious. Mm. So good, guys. Mm. I'm hungry. Today's high carb day. I'm going to end up eating the whole bag. So good. I'm so happy Walmart finally started having these. Because it's spinach. So good, guys. I'm definitely going to be buying more of these. I'm going to enjoy this. Talk to you guys. You know they are. Huh? 
I feel pretty good. Pocket is right here. I feel pretty good. I like them. I think they fit pretty good, don't you think? I think they do. Very comfy. A little bit big, but other than that, I like they fit pretty good. I like them. Very successful buy. I'll probably buy them more of them when I get paid next Friday because. I enjoy these. They're comfy. Very comfy, guys. Very comfy. Very, very comfy. Literally, literally just ate my last meal of the day or the night, which was tuna with a tablespoon of light mayonnaise and salt and pepper and relish or pickle relish, whatever you want to call it. And then I had, um, some um the rest the remaining of my tartar covered raisins tartar covered blueberries and then i had four um coffee beans covered in chocolate and that's all i'm having tonight and i'm gonna end the vlog now because i don't know what is wrong with me today but like all of a sudden i just feel really upset depressed and just something does not feel right right now and I just feel lonely upset not wanted I, all that above and I just want to get this video done and cause like I said I don't know what like I've been upset like Ever since the breakup, and I've been a little bit stronger every day. Every every day, like, like every day, I'm I get stronger. I don't feel as upset, but today is probably the first day or night that I felt alone, sad. I mean, I felt like this yesterday too, last night, but not like I am t right now. And I don't know what, what like triggered it or anything like that. I don't think it really. I don't think nothing. I don't think really anything triggers anything anymore. It's just the fact that I'm having to get used to life without him and it's pretty hard still but I'm trying to get stronger about it I'm working on me I'm working on my body my nutrition and I'm trying to better myself and I feel like there's a light at the end of the tunnel, and I truly believe that. It's just hard for me to see that right now, and I don't know. It's just it just really it just really sucks, and I know I'm not the only one that's gone through this kind of pain or anything like that. So I'm no I know I'm not alone. And it, it, it feels nice to know that there's people around me that is going through the same problems as I am, or similar problems as I am. And it feels great. But if you guys have any suggestions or what helps you get through such a heartache please leave it in the comments below or if it's more personal just message me 
just message me on here and give me what you what helps you get through this and maybe we can both or whoever what whatever the case is we can both help each other get through something like this because I'm here for you guys and I'm not here just to show you guys workouts and meals and all that stuff I'm also here to help you guys get through stuff like this and because we're only human guys we're human we get upset like this we like go up and down you know it's a roller coaster this whole thing is a roller coaster and I know God has a plan for me a plan for you and I guess you just got to keep seeing it that way and just keep moving forward because he wouldn't be putting you through these obstacles or whatever if he doesn't think you can get through it and it's taken me at least two months or so to really I guess see that and really understand the meaning behind it and I guess just see the bigger picture because in the next couple of months I'm gonna be finally um, living my dream become gonna be going to class for getting me become a um, health coach and I'm really excited about that because that's one step closer to being on my own and hopefully move out and make a life for myself because you don't know what the future might hold you don't know if it's going to be with you don't really know what's going to go on in the future you don't know the challenges or what is going to be placed in your hands in the future you don't know that kind of stuff until it happens so who knows what God has planned for me who knows what he has as in like a guy for me or what he does because you know God he may has plans for everybody and as long as you believe in him and pray for him he will make stuff happen yes you might be praying for something to happen and yes he doesn't show it to you right in there but that doesn't mean he's not listening to you he's still listening to you he's just I guess molding like molding what he wants for you he's he's planning stuff for you and he's and he knows that you're not ready for something quite yet because you're still going through a grieving part you still um, morning or whatever you know he's just God is good he he has plans and you might not see it now but he has something in the future for you and you just gotta learn to be patient and I guess I gotta sit back and be patient about it because like I said God doesn't put you in these situations heartache, sorrow, whatever the case may be, unless you didn't think you could um, deal with it. Like, you didn't, if you didn't think you could deal with this kind of pain, he wouldn't put you through it. But since he knows you're able to conquer this and look past it and become stronger, you know, like, it's, it's just crazy how he walks. It's crazy. And I guess I gotta open my eyes a little bit more and just really think about what I'm saying to you guys because there's days that I just don't believe what I say sometimes. Even when he what he says, God says, but he knows what's best for you. You might not see it right now, but he has plans. I promise you guys, he has plans. He has plans for everybody. He had plans for everybody, guys. Yes, he does. God is good. God is great. He's amazing. He got plans. But I'm done ranting. 
I feel a bit better now. My eyes are upsetting more. I feel good right now. For now, at least. But I'm going to let you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm serious. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, or you're going through the same problems, please feel free to message me. I will respond to you. I will actually talk to you guys. I want to help you. So if you have any questions like that, or anything in general, just message me. I will respond back. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Good night, guys.